Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Sandra. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a very, very, very special product. Ta da! So, this is a Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab. Um, it's the palette volume two and so excited because i have a volume one and i literally use it every day if you follow me on my insta stories i posted a video of the volume one palette and the volume two palette side by side and my volume one palette is literally so used because i use it like almost every time i do my makeup because i love the colors and this palette I don't know if I'm going to use it every day because the colors in here are a little bit like really colorful but I know it's going to be a really really good palette. I'm excited to try it out and to review it. I'm going to give my honest opinion on the palette of course not just because it's Jaclyn Hill. Um, I'm going to give her a good review or anything like that but I'm going to review it. Um, I'm not going to be biased because of her name Jaclyn Hill. I do have her first palette. Um, volume one so that's why i knew that this palette would be special because i do have her first one and her first one blew my mind away so yeah enough with this chitter chatter um let's go ahead and review the palette but don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's why i didn't say welcome back to my channel because i barely even have any subscribers um so i'm pretty sure like a lot of people are new to my channel but um let's go ahead and just get started with this video okay so first of all i did buy her jacqueline hill um brush collection as well um i felt like i needed some new brushes and i wanted to just buy both of them morphe always has the best brushes um so the only thing that i'm a little bit upset about is that um it doesn't really come with like a makeup bag this is basically what the brushes look like when i first got it in the mail i saw that it like came in like this little little tiny like box and then i opened the box and i had the palette and the brushes and i was like whoa like this these are really really like small like there's no makeup bag in it on this and then i saw later on that she had posted a video that if you bought it in store you would get like a colorful makeup bag or whatever um and i was kind of bummed about that because if i would have known i would have gone to the store um because i do have a morphe store close by so i would have just gone bought the palette on in store and bought it um bought the brushes in store so that part kind of just like upset me um but i'm not going to return it because what's the point um and i bought it online like literally uh right when it came out i bought it because i didn't want it to get sold out or whatever um but yeah so this is a 15 brush set a 15 custom eye and face brush set um, so I'm, I already did my face makeup so I can save some time so I can review the palette. Um, and so I'm going to save some of the brushes for later. Um, but I'm going to be using the eye brushes. Um, it doesn't have like a name of what each brush is used for. Um, I kind of don't like when the brushes don't have that uh, because it's on the box it like her like this brush says jh 49 um, and then you have to come back and look at the box and jh 49 is thick and through thick and thin brush um, but obviously you know that this brush is like an eyeliner or brow type of brush right so um, that's the only thing I don't like about the brushes. I have to keep the box if you want to know what the brush is used for. Um, but there's quite a bit of eyeshadow brushes here. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. She already did swatches on her channel. Um, but I'll swatch a couple so that you can see them how they are on my skin tone. Um... 
there's a few colors in here that I'm honestly like I want to swatch so first I'm gonna swatch this color right here this is a color Talia or Talia whoa this is a really pigmented color and this is a gold um, that she was talking about in her video the next shadow I'm gonna swatch as empowered this is empowered it's a really cute like pink um, reddish glittery shade and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with this look because I'm literally so anxious to just dive right in and do like a look. So to start off, I put a little bit of tape right here because I'm going to be going in with like really um, bright colors. So I want that line to be perfect. Um, and then I do want to test out how much fallout this like has. So I'm going to be going um, in with the color, what color should I go in for a transition? I'm going to be going in with the color next and let me swatch it for you guys. It's a really, really bright color. So this is a color that I'm going to about to go in and I want to play with the reds in a little bit of pinks in this look um i feel like the other colors we've seen them before in other palettes so i don't really want to get like into those um i'll be using them in like other tutorials and stuff but for this tutorial i want to use the bright colors um because from what i have been like watching and listening and learning um, the bright colors are actually really hard to get pigment on them so I just want to like review it and see how beginner friendly this palette is for beginners because basically I wouldn't say I'm like a pro I'm not a, I'm not a beginner but I'm also like you know not like a professional youtuber so instantly when I go and like put my brush on it, there is a lot of fallout on the pan, um, as you can see. So let's see how, let's see if there's going to be fallout on my eyes. Okay, so I primed my eye with the Tarte Shape Concealer. So I'm just going to lightly bring this blush right here and I'm using the Morphe R336 so I'm just going to lightly brush this Well, I thought this color was going to be like less pigmented for some reason I kind of went ham on like the first freaking stroke <laughs> The pigment is really nice. Wow. I kind of just covered my whole lid in this. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that. Okay, so I kind of have red all over my lids right now. But holy shit. This color is so pigmented. It looks like a cranberry type of color. And this is a color next. On the pan, it looks like... A little bit more like pinkier this is a color on the pan next or I don't even know if it's the lighting but it doesn't look like this is like a wine color red like it's so pretty but whoa I'm not used to it um, but okay so next um, I think I'm just going to use this color um, crazy 
So this is next, which it looks like more pinky, and then this is crazy. So for shit, oh my god, this is so pigmented. So for um, yeah, I'm just gonna play with this. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna play with these colors. I honestly don't really like use color at all in my makeup. So this is totally new for me. So. I'm going to go in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush, and this is the Jaclyn Hill 44 brush. And then I'm going to go in with the color Crazy, and basically I'm going to put this in her corner. So basically when you put it on, it just kind of just blends in. I feel like I would need it to go in with like a lighter color, but I honestly could not find like a transition shade for red. Like it would have just had to be like the brown or something color that she has in here. Um. So basically, I'm just gonna like deepen, deepen up the crease, and then I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and just blend that out. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn 45 brush and just blend that in. I can honestly say that these shadows are really pigmented because look at my eyes. My eyes are literally like the brightest I've ever seen them. Like they're literally like the red, like red wine right now. It looks like I was drinking a glass of red wine and I just like spilled it all over my face right now. This is what I feel like I look like. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with my concealer now. I'm going to cut the crease you know the sad part is that i'm just gonna go and take all this shit off when i'm done like i'm just gonna wash off my face okay so whoa this is really pigmented because my concealer like can't even see it Okay, so I went in the concealer. Um, I didn't cut the crease because this color is so freaking pigmented that my Tarte Shape Concealer, like, you can still see the red. Can you believe that? This is so freaking pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Empowered, which is this color right here on top of my lid wow this color is so gorgeous can you see that i'm going with my finger first Wow, that's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, that just like makes it look just look so much better because I was like honestly worried that it was gonna look like shit. I mean it probably does, but I was worried that it was not gonna come out good at all. Wow, this color is so so pretty oh my gosh so I usually don't like putting glitter on my eyelid because I feel like every time I do I get like wrinkly eyelids and then it makes me look old but honestly it is so damn gorgeous oh my god okay so I'm gonna go back in with the Jaclyn Hill um, JH52 and I'm just gonna put it on my brush wow 
This color is everything. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the color next. And I'm going to like darken this, darken the outer corner a bit. So I'm going to go in with this Jaclyn Hill 48 brush. I feel like I have to go into their website and like see what all these brushes are about. But I honestly just use them like however I can but I'm gonna go in with the color certified which is like this bone color and I'm gonna just touch up my brows holy shit oh my god I feel like I just fucked it up holy shit this is so pigmented I think I put too much I'm used to like okay let me just put it like that's better Okay, now I need to blend that shit out because it looks horrible. <laughs> this color is a really, 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 really intense. Like, it's so crazy. So I'm gonna take this off now. So there was a, f like, fallout on the bottom. But I like how it has, like, a little, like, cat eye right there, so... I'm gonna take this out. Yeah, you see that line is like super, super, super intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take off a little bit of this excess that was on my cheek. Okay, so the lashes that I'm gonna use for this um, makeup is gonna be the Blowout Lash um, from Kiss. And I actually got these at Walmart for like three dollars so i'm gonna put them on and then i'll be right back to complete the rest of my face okay so i went ahead and put my lash on these lashes are super comfortable and next i'm going to finish off my under eyes so i feel like i really really love this color empowered so i'm gonna Go ahead and put that on my bottom lash. So for my inner eye, I'm going to use the color I'm in it, which is like this really, really color, really, really pretty, like iridescent. Ooh, that's a really pretty. like a pink white color up with I'm gonna go ahead and um, put on some highlight I'm gonna use the Becca in um, Becca in Jaclyn Hill champagne pop because we are using Jaclyn Hills products and I don't have any highlighters um, but I already have this Becca and Champagne Pop, which is like one of her first collections that came out with Becca or her first um, highlighters on. So yeah, I'm just going to go like do the rest of my face and then I will be right back. Okay, so this is the overall look. I really liked how it came out actually. I really, really love I'm in it color. I love this like iridescent color. Honestly, it's so beautiful. And I was just playing with these colors. I didn't really have a plan on like what look I was going to do. But overall, I think that I really like how it came out. <laughs> I'm really conceited right now. But overall, like the palette, even though I only used one, two, three, four, five, six colors. From this whole palette, I thought that like the pigmentation was amazing. The colors blended out really nice. I totally recommend this palette to anybody that is looking.